hey there i'm somia welcome to this video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can write html or you know render html on the web page not normally like a normal person does using a dot html file and all but we're gonna write our html from a node.js server and we're gonna send that to our web page right so before so before i get into the video do hit that subscribe button that means a lot to me and if you like this video do share it in your socials tag me on twitter and without further ado let's get into this video okay cool so now we are in our vs code and uh, let me open a terminal because you know we need to do things with it so uh this is a folder i'm in and i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a js file right so just make sure that you have installed node.js in your computer if you want to try it right so let's uh, give it a name server.js right um cool so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just make a simple node.js server and from that server i'm gonna send html to be rendered in our web page right and maybe this is uh, called server side renting i guess so and and not just that what i'm going to show you here is that how can we just uh, also get back something from the server from the web page into our server so let's just get started right so before we uh, get started we need obviously some things right so what things we need we need http okay so this handles the request and response things in the server in, or in the node.js thing right so let's just so let's just get that right const http is called require http I'm sorry cool so now we have http right so now i'm gonna make a server well how do you make a server so how do you make a server is that i'm just gonna give it a name server and this is how you make a server right just http dot create server and in the create server we need to pass two things one is request and another is called response so if i just hover over this function you'll see how this thing works right so this is a great thing about you know these editors they just show you things now we have made this server right so this is all we need to make server it's really easy right now to make the server to listen to things right to listen at a port what you're gonna do is just server dot um, listen and just give it a port name right anything in your computer so this will be listening to a port right so now what you're gonna do is that now we're gonna you know send html so to send html so let me tell you about now we want to send some html from the server right so to send things we use res right so res means response so what will be the server's response right and request is the thing that you know it gets from the user or you know from the browser or the client side right so if the client side requests something it gets it so for example when you call a api that's a request to a server somewhere in the world right and in response to that request it sends those objects right so that's how a server works simply so if i just run it now so to run it what you're going to type is here in the terminal node file and the files name right so server.js and there you go it's uh, you can see it's not stopping because we have li we're listening now right so it will not stop it will it will listen now right so if i just go to and type localhost 3000 it will just be loading because we are not sending anything so just to let you know uh, that you are getting the request now um so what you're gonna do is that just do it do something like console.log and re print the request right so when you print that and just cut it and reload that now if i just reload it here you'll see see these things are getting printed right so this is a request this whole thing that the server got now is the request so and this is now if i just print this the method like what is a method is it a get request or is it a post request so if i just print it now like rec dot method and uh, what i'm going to do is now again just cut it and reload it so if i just reload it now you'll see that it is getting get requests okay so now let me just show you how you can easily just send a html and render things from the server right so just do res dot write like we are responding right so we are using res so res dot write and in the quotes you can write html 
just like html works you just have to write in different lines here right so res dot right so this thing is that um so this just mentioned that within it within it we are you know going to be rendering our html thing right so now if i in here write something like uh, a h1 tag right let's just give it a h1 tag and just complete this h1 tag and we're gonna render here like i am the server again and you'll see let me just cut that there you go cool so if i just reload it there you go we have html coming from our server right so that's really cool right so now we're gonna go even a step further okay we're gonna give something to the html which is coming from server and we're gonna get that thing in the server right so for that what do we need well obviously we need an input box right so for that what we are going to do is that just make again a res dot right thing and here what we're going to do is that just pass a form tag i guess in the form we're going to do action on uh, action we are going to let's give it so what i'm going to do in that in action what happens is that you can just give it a path for example slash message like localhost 3000 slash message right so what will happen is that when i tap so these are uh, single quotes right because double quotes will not work here so when i tap the submit button uh the request will go through the slash uh, message url right localhost slash message right so form action that and so method will be obviously post right because it's not a get request you're posting something right so method will obviously be post let's give it that and i'm gonna close this form tag now awesome i'm very in a very uncomfortable position okay cool so that's that let's now give it an input tag because obviously we need some place where user can Im input things right so obviously the type is text right so let's just do that type is text name let's just give it a name because you'll know why so let's just give it message and yeah let's just close this thing and per there you go cool so if i just render it now actually you know what we are missing a button cool so now so now we have our input button and all of this from the server okay so now that we are sending our html from our server and rendering it on the web page now let me show you something more okay so now what i want is to get what the user types in the input box and when he had submit i need that what he has written inside my server right so i want to get that thing in my server so as i have showed you in the form action when he hit submit we will be giving a post request to the url localhost slash message right so let's set up a conditional for that so if our um rec dot url is equal to equal to slash message right we will execute this okay so now you need to learn a concept uh, or you know you just need to know a concept of node.js that when it gets things it does not uh, just directly get the whole thing it gets it in chunks right so we what you have to do is that and this is called streaming by the way okay so it gets the data in buffering and we need to catch those chunks and when the streaming ends when we have the whole data we need to you know just convert it to a string in this case right so what how this will work is that we need to use something called rec dot on so on means that the streaming is on okay we are getting the chunks so here uh, we'll use data and this is just the same tags right and here we are we are gonna pass chunks and an error function so what i'm going to do now is that you know store all these chunks in an array so let me just uh, make an array declare an array so i'll call it air and just make an empty and here you know i'm just gonna push all these things to our array so ar sorry ar dot push and just push all the chunks we are getting in right push all the chunks and you know to show you how those chunks look um i'm just gonna print that thing console.log um 
print sorry the array we're gonna print this array so now i'm gonna save it run this thing server.js cool so now if i go to my browser and i'm gonna reload it um there you go and now if i just write something and hit submit okay so this is what you see in the console is the chunks that we are getting and storing in the array right but you know this is of no use to us okay so now when it receives all the data or the streaming thing ends um we have to use something called regular on and here as the streaming has ended we will use end so when it's get so when it gets ended we are going to this this is going to be called back and here we are uh, going to you know make that string out of this array that we have filled of chunks right so how to do that well let's just make a string variable and here we'll use a class called buffer and here and we can use its function called concat to concatenate all the chunks um, in this array and just convert it into string to string there you go and now if i just print it in here and just reload it look hello 3000 gonna type something submit and as you can see here we have message is equal to this thing right the our what we have written there but the thing is we don't need this message is equal to so how to you know just get this thing get our value right okay so to do that what we have to do is just just split our this whole string that we're getting um from the equal to sign so now we'll have an array with the first uh, object after we apply split right we'll have an array with the first with the zero index as message and the one index as the uh, value we are giving right so we are we want the value right so we are just going to give the one index after splitting it from equal to and then we're just gonna print that thing and yeah let's just run it again and we should see everything happening cool right so there we go let's just submit and as you can see here we are getting this thing and no messages equal to stuff right so here as you can see this is the array of chunks and here we are you know getting the whole thing after the streaming ends so you know that's cool like also you are able to learn this thing right so yeah that's it for the video and i just wanted to make this video because i didn't know uh, that you can just send html from the server and you know i just found it cool and just wanted to share it and just let me know in the comments what do you think of this video did you know it uh, already and yeah just that's it and and obviously if you learned something from the video do hit that subscribe button that means a lot to me like this video and i'll see you in the next one till then stay safe and have a great day